Welcome, everybody, to RimWorld, where today the chaos will begin because, of course, we have the three or four now colonists necessary to kickstart Igor Invader. So the, the, the genie is very much out of the lamp here. What do you say in America? The toothpaste is out of the bottle? I don't know what toothpaste is because I'm English, but that is essentially the situation we're in right now. Things are going to start really kicking off today. So we need to be prepared and ready, which, to be honest, are, are my two favorite things to do when playing video games. Uh, we have one bow for four people and uh, consistent raids. So that's going to be quite good, I think. Now, yesterday, I pointed out that we are essentially, in some ways, getting a little bit of an advantage because we only have one entrance to the map, and that also may limit raids being able to come in in the first place. So I've, I've done the thing I said I would do and cleared the road open in dev mode. It's supposed to be like that anyway, but I have a feeling the map settings probably conflicted with it. So I've opened that up, and now, as a result, NPCs and, by extent, raids can actually get into the map. As evidenced by the fact that I immediately opened the road and we got visitors. So we've got a group from the Eastern... Eastern... One... One Baron. Welcome, my friends. Please have weapons. Because, holy shit, we're in a lot of trouble here. Unless we can get some wood quickly. Um, I assume we can't craft anything else. Oh, shit. Let's go to production a second. Fueled smithy. And just see what ranged weapons we can throw together. I guess we're going to have to. Oh, sorry, electric smithy, I should say. Because we don't have any fuel for the fueled smithy. Let's see what we can do here. We don't have any steel, so I'm hoping our empire will bring some in. On the subject of empire too, a lot of people in Discord have been talking about, you know, how to really min-max empire and how to get resources in that we need to rely on, etc., etc. I'm not going to focus too heavily on the empire stuff. The empire stuff I added as an alternative to basically just throwing in the quarry mod again. We need access to the resources to build all the crazy new guns and weapons we're going to see throughout the series. And, of course, the defenses, refueling turrets and whatnot. But I didn't want to throw in a quarry or a deep drill because those are always quite overpowered. This has a nice limitation to it and that you have to defend them. There's obviously a delay on the amount of days before things turn up as well. So you have to kind of plan things out a couple of days ahead. But besides that, I'm not going to pay too much attention to Empire except for a quarry replacement. Simply because I have an idea for, for, for the quarry mod, uh, sorry, for the Empire mod coming up in the future. A, a, a medieval magical series, you might say, which we'll, we'll talk about more when I've, when I've got some actual plans down for that one. So let's let our guys dig out a freezer then. There is a cool mod that I was linked to yesterday, in fact, that allows you to create a stockpile that, that has an option for perishables. So anything that needs refrigerating, basically, which is a, a fantastic idea. So that'll automatically default to things like, uh, you know, food and corpses and uh, certain drugs, uh, herbal medicine, etc. I assume if you've by extent got something like genetic rim that adds... Genetic materials that need refrigerating, this mod would also cover that as well. It, it should just be in the base game, right? It, sh it should just be something that we have from the get-go here. So I'm going to get that set up very, very quickly. We'll see if we can get some coolers down too. But again, we are waiting on that next shipment from our from our empire. So, oh, well, speak of the devil. Oh, 279 silver. Oh, so we're just waiting on the metal delivery now. Let's hope we get steel because uh, otherwise we're in a little bit of a fucky-wucky. Oh, they dealt with the, the insect. Okay, that's pretty good because that means we can now get up here and... Uh, Grab the medicine. More importantly, grab some of this kind of kind of resources. This cave is full of gold. Look at that. Oh, shit. Hello, ship chunks. Oh, they're leaving before I had a chance to trade with them. On the plus side, though, they left me a musket. Oh, brother, that's something. What else we got here? A cleaver and a beer bottle. We can glass the Empire when they turn up for a raid. That's great. Okay, Um, unfortunately, they are leaving. They might try and kill those insects on the way out, though. If they don't mind, that'd be quite nice. Nothing. Oh, it's fleeing. Oh, interesting. That's okay. And we got a tax in as well. 427 plastic. We obviously can go into our faction here and disable um, disable the input from that one. So what have we got right now in terms of uh, in terms of our people? So this is one with tithing, right? So we want to turn off on this one. I think we'll turn off plastic for now because we don't need it for the timing. I think I'm also going to turn off uranium. Um, I think I'll also turn off gold too. So we're getting components and steel. For the timing, that's quite useful. And then granite blocks as a building material. I think I'll probably leave that on. We could tie nothing but steel though. Right? I wonder if by removing one resource you get more of another, or whether or not it just doesn't send you that item. So say they mine, you know, 500 plasteel, uh, 200 steel, 300 gold, and you take away the gold, it would just give you the 500 plasteel, the 200 steel. Oh, interesting. I, I imagine it wouldn't work like that. I imagine it would work that it would replace the resources with something else. So for the time being, we want to just get, I think, the steel and plasteel. This mod is great, by the way, because all you have to do is put down an area, uh, go critical, and then un uh, go allow all, and then just untick non-perishables, and then, of course, rotten as well if you're doing it for food, and then everything that is that needs refrigerate will automatically be put in the refrigerator. And then similarly, you just go to this area, you say allow all, and then non-perishables. Oh, sorry, disallow perishables, and that'll be the same thing again. 
I suppose you could do fresh, but I mean, fresh should automatically go in there anyway. Oh, that was fast. We're not prepared. Oh, we're really not prepared. Look at this. What the fuck? Okay, our, our allies might do some damage here. They might do some damage. No, they're not going to do any damage. In fact, they've taken a lot of damage. You can't turn up with... What is this? Dual feral submachine guns? Brother, I've got a fucking bow. You can't do this. Let's hope that musket's loaded, boys, because we are in a lot of trouble. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We can hold... We can hold the line here. Harding, grab this musket. Booker, grab the cleaver. <laughs> oh, she's incapable of violent. Oh, brilliant. Okay, Booker, fuck off then. Um... I'm hoping the Mega Spider gets back up. It won't. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Got 15 shots with the musket. Has that got a, that's got a good range to it. The problem is, it's a friggin' musket. Um, I, I want to... I mean, obviously, they're doing a siege here. So, we want to try and hit them before they hit us. Now, I think we've got... What have you got in terms of weapon? You've got a flintlock. You've got a hand cannon. Oh, this is... Insane. What have I agreed to? Well, we're probably dead. Let's see how we do. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, we need to kind of pick them off when the numbers we count for nothing, but I also can't not do anything because it's a siege. Yeah, good, 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 good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Knock them. Knock them. Good hit, good hit, good hit, good hit, boys. That's what we're after. Okay, now back off, back off, back off. Running gun. Use this to our advantage. Pick them off as we're running. Take down Lazy. Oh my god, I don't think any of them are going to hit besides one. Oh! You are a, a son of a bitch. What the hell are you talking about, Mechanoid Cluster? You can't do this to me. What the hell are you talking about, Mechanoid Cluster? Oh, we defeated it. <laughs> what? They launched into a cave and then they immediately got crushed by the rocks. Oh my god, this is chaos already. I love it. Help me. Are we already... Oh, so they're happy. Sorry, I thought they were happy because they killed someone. They're happy because the mechanoid was defeated, obviously. Right. I think this is probably safe just to let them... Yes, that's what I wanted to see. Look, 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 brother. She had three guns. Why did she have three guns? Well, it's always necessary for a backup. It's always necessary for a backup. Get that laser pistol. What ammo does the laser pistol take? Is it loaded? It's loaded. Get the submachine guns. Holy shit. Talk about an upgrade. Okay, okay. He's a genius. Right, get back in there. Lure them out. Bait them out one by one. This is great. Bear in mind, it's a, it's, a, it's a siege. So as long as we can kind of get their attention here, bait a couple out, safety, I think you should give that laser gun to one. Because some machine guns, they can just kind of spray and hope they hit something. I want I want this for one, because that seems a bit more of an accurate weapon. Right, give me that. Thank you, thank you. You take that, and you take this one. Okay. Now let's hopefully, you'll come around the corner. We'll see you. That was a good hit. Bleeding out. Oh, look, all we've got to do is hope that they kind of wander around the corner like that, and we can get some shots in. Good luck. Our guys have cover. They don't. You might as well pull you there, because your weapons have the lowest range anyway, so there's no point in putting them on the outside, because they're just going to be shot without being able to fire back. Come on, get some damage in. I believe in you. Nice hit. I think that was another hit there. 11 hours. Come on. They've got armor, and we don't, which is my big concern. One, you are seriously fucking things up here. Um, I, I, I want to try and just get them to retreat, you know? I want to just get them to retreat. So let's shoot the one coming. Oh, that was a hit. That was a bad hit, too. Okay, they're in range. Kill them dead. Oh, this has got no ammo. Oh, bollocks. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, gr grab that quick. Okay, back off, back off, back off. Run and gun. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. How's one doing? 22 hours. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no. Let's go, Dr. Care. South tend. Patch yourself up. Oh, I wasn't expecting them to actually keep chasing. I'll be honest, that was a bad play. I was, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. Suppressing fire, please, people. Okay, okay. Fuck that. Draft up. Let's just keep firing. Nice. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, okay, okay. So we're now down to five of them. I hate this. This is, this is horrible. This is horrible. Right. Self-tend again. Get behind some cover, at least. And just cover him. And who are we looking at? Ross's... Oh, 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 Rios? Yeah, it's coming down. We've got another weapon there. The feral submachine guns with ammo. Oh, my God. If we could grab that quickly. Have we got time? I mean, by the time they mantle the rocks, we might just have time to grab it and reload. I don't know. This is something we're just going to have to learn when is appropriate to grab stuff with. Go. Get over there. How you doing, one? 
Too good just intending. Oh, what a hit. I can't even be mad. That was great. From a fucking flintlock too, as they were moving. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I need you drafted up and down here then. You're not going to bleed out. Take him down as they're getting in here. Don't let them get too close. Oh my god, that one's back up. Okay, see if we can kill him. Might just get him to flee. Six hours. Nice, 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 nice work. How's safety doing? 16 hours. Can you not hit from there? Out of ammo. Okay, give him a wide berth. See if you can grab those. Covering fire. They're, they're behind rocks now, so this is... We're at a distinctive disadvantage here. Good hit from... Oh, no! It's basically over. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on. Okay, equip, the, equip those. Pick up all the ammo. It's down to Hardin. Can he do it? Can we... Just think we can get Booker up here. Rescue safety. Hardin rescue one. Is One's probably going to die. 13 hours, actually. 16 hours. No, you rescue safety. You grab one. You know what? We might actually get away with it. There's only four of them left. We've just got to get some good shots in here. Uh, have we got a backup doctor? Oh, the work tab isn't working. Oh, bizarre. Obviously, we're not supposed to be able to see their stats like that. Oh, it's probably because they're drafted, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we'll see what happens in a second with that. Just as long as one of them can doctor, I don't, I don't really care too much. Right, get them out of there. Run, 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 run. Okay. Okay, they're safe. Who's the better doctor here? Right, now, yeah, okay, so it was exactly that. It's because they're being carried and these guys were bringing them over. So you can tend. Okay, that's good news. Ten to one first. Now, we're going to have to give one some of that thrombo milk. See if we can get him back up on his feet, get him over the pain, get him, get him drafted again, essentially. Harden, I have a job for you, and that's get the laser. Okay, go and, go and haul that. Pick up the laser pistol. Oh, shit, they're coming down. Oh, my God, they're here. Balls. I didn't realize. I'm so sorry. Uh, what the fuck is the range on these shitty, shitty guns? Yeah, you better run. Oh, my. They're built. You can't siege me from there. Okay, I assume you guys are are doomed then. Uh, hopefully, they'll just kidnap Harding. They're eating my meals. <laughs> Come on, kidnap Harding and leave. Kidnap him and leave. They're fleeing. They're fleeing? Why are they fleeing? Spalipede? Why are they fleeing? One of them bled out? <gasps> Brother. Brother, we have been given a gift. Do not squander this. Do not squander this. They have given us weapons that aren't just bows and arrows. Oh my god, blacksmith inspiration. A blacksmith in one of your settlements contacts you. It explains that he's been struck with great inspiration. Request silver to create you a weapon worthy of your empire. We don't have silver, do we? Um, we've got 1,000. Fine, I'll give you 1,000. Fine, make me a weapon worthy of one. Okay, how are you doing? Incapacitated. So they're all fine. They're all fine. Let them bed rest then. Let them bed rest. Holy shit, I can't believe it. Uh, can we can we finish them off? Because we can't capture them right now. I feel like we've got too much on our plate. Ballistic goggles, though. Brother, that's better aiming. That's better aiming. Okay, okay. Uh, and who else have we got here? Someone's downed. Strip co oh, Compton probably went down. Look, they we did so much damage here, I didn't even fucking realize. We downed all of them. We actually downed all of them. Wow, okay, that was a lot better. That was a Pyrrhic victory, but it was a victory. That was really not bad at all. Okay, then. Oh, oh my God. We just got an Ambrosia Sprout as well. Thank you. Look at this. Right, so let's take a look at what we actually profited out of that then. Guns, fantastic. We need ammo research pretty early on then because we've got the weapons now to fuel with the ammo. We've got incendiary shells. We got 559 steel and 17 components out of that. We've got an Ambrosia Bush, which was just kind of, uh, kind of a nice side effect. High explosive shells. Not fantastic right now, but pretty good. We've got guns, as many as you like. The laser pistol seems good as well. Probably good against against armor specifically, but I guess against just flesh, it's less likely to knock down because it just does burns, right? So maybe stacks up pain, but probably non-lethal. In this, I think lethality would be a bit more preferable, but that's okay. Uh, industrial ammo, we got an accurate KS-23, that word. Okay, great news. Right, let's get these hauled over then. I think the feral weapons are generally pretty terrible. Um, but to be honest, it, it, it's better than nothing, and, and we got a few clothes out of it as well, so I really can't complain about that. Um, who died over here then? That was our allies, right? We've got some industrial ammo. We've got a bolt action rifle, a fine meal, beer, a steel knife. I'll take everything right now. Genuinely, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be picky. Let's just grab it all. That's not what I wanted to see. An infection is bad news. We had the worst doctor tending them. 
with no medicine. So, I mean, let's be honest. The fact that we got that is already fine. Let's administer the thrombo milk to one. Is that enough to get him walking again? No, it's not, unfortunately. The pain is still too much. Pain is still extreme, even with the thrombo milk. Wow, that's kind of surprising. He'll be okay soon now, though. Look, malnutrition is disappearing. That's good. Blood loss is going down pretty fast. We need to get the good doctor tending to him as soon as possible. Right leg. So we can... Oh, he's also lost a kidney. So the chance of this infection killing him is pretty decently high. Um, we, we probably just want to start to remove that leg. Do we have herbal medicine? I think I even started growing herbal medicine because we couldn't, could we? Um, is there any on the map in like this new area that we opened up? No. Okay, that's a bit of a concern. And the thrombo is probably eating anything else that was exposed. Okay, so there's no herbal medicine. What do I do now then for poor little Harden? Our, our social expert. We'll see what we can do. Uh, we, I, I mean, surely someone's got plant skill. It's got 10 plant skill. We can now grow some. We just couldn't before. Um, I think I'll swap the rice out because rice is kind of high, high, you know, maintenance anyway. Let's get some heal root down. Oh, obviously, it's not going to grow before he lives or dies. So, see how we go here. How was she up before one? I mean, one did take up a lot of damage. Nothing permanent, though. She lost a thumb and a ring finger, but I believe that was actually from a fight with Harding. They were bitten off. Does it say? Um, now I've got runtime GC, so we may not have the log here. No, unfortunately not by the looks of it. Okay, that's all right. I think she lost that with Harden, so that's not, not really much of a concern either. And Booker is completely unscathed. So there was no real permanent damage there besides his kidney, which in turn may end up killing him, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it just requires one medicine for an amputation, right? And I can't see any growing anywhere. I think we're going to lose him. I hate to say it, I think we're going to lose him just to an unlucky infection. But if we survive our first raid with... One loss, that's okay, especially when we had no weapons. I think it, it it could have gone far, far worse. We should we should consider ourselves lucky. Let's put it that way. I think I'm going to lose him, and unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I could do to stop it either, because it's two medicine to install a peg like two, right? Uh, yes, it is. So it's not like we can even just swap it out there. Oh, that's a real shame. That is a real, real shame. All right, little Harden. Um, I mean, I'll keep an eye on it. When he gets up to extreme, we'll strip him. Uh, we may get very, very, very lucky with the 10 quality here. No. <laughs> no, no, we have not. You're kidding me. A psychic ship at this point in the game. Luckily, hey, one pipeman, one lancer. Pretty good if we can get within melee range. We just beat the shit out of it. And to be fair, the uh, the psychic droner itself will provide a good amount of starting resources. The problem is we're about to have a colonist die guaranteed. So what if we banish him? Is banishing less than colonist dying? Because we could just kick him out and then he'll just die, you know, kind of on the way out of here. Um, I don't remember. Banish. Harden will most likely die. I need, I'm I'm going to min-max it. I'm sorry. I'm going to Google this and see which one gives the, the, the bigger mood deficit. Uh, so, statistically, colonist died is better. Um, so, it gives a minus three to mood, six days expiration time, five stack limits. So, you can have a maximum of five people dying at once before it won't register anymore. And then the stacking multiplier is 0 0.25. It's identical with banishing a colonist, except the stacking multiplier is much higher. Because, of course, you're not going to banish people too frequently, so it should be a bigger deal when you do. So, we can either banish him or let him die. It really makes no difference to the grand scheme of things. So, um, I've stripped him, and I think we say goodbye to Harden. He, he did not have chance to shine. Goodbye, my little friend. Didn't have a single, a single time to flex his social ability or his artistic talents. He will die. Lost and forgotten in a shed. Built out of uranium by an 8-year-old. 14-year-old, sorry. Oh, 15-year-old now. Oh, congratulations on surviving a year, I guess. Wow. And then there were three. Only two of which are capable of combat. So this is not... <laughs> this is already a, a phenomenal start. Right, I need a trade beacon. Pretty much immediately, right? Uh, mainly to get rid of some of this crap. But more importantly, so that we can potentially buy new people from a slaver. I think I'm going to have to do it. Um... Right, uh, let's go for... Bear with me here. Let's go into the research tab. What are we getting right now? Battery and then we're drilling for oil. As much as I think oil is going to be fun, we need to go for ammo production, don't we? Ultimately. And that's under machining, I believe. Let's just take a quick look. Machining. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Let's get that to... Oh, we've already got machining, of course. Okay. Um, What would we want to go for next then? I guess uh, manufacturing. I guess that couldn't hurt. 
Okay, manufacturing is locked with bloody multi analyzer. Right, it's going to be a while before we can get that. Okay, fair enough. Don't worry about it too much for the timing. Let's just get the batteries done as a nice start. Maybe we could go for turrets to begin with, actually, instead. The highest DPS with accuracy taken into account is the feral submachine guns here. Now, bear in mind that those are going to be doubled. They do actually say this on the Igor Invader page that weapon stats will stay the same. It, the damage is basically applied on hit rather than to the weapons themselves. So, 11.6. DPS with that one, but I feel like the range of that is so fucking terrible, isn't it? What's this stat here? Your damage? Which one? Which one is range? Uh, I I have actually no clue. Oh, that that's range, really? Oh, okay. I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, the nail gun might be better just for the two extra blocks it gives us. To be honest with you. Oh, come the fuck on! Really? Really? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, one. I know you're about to break. I know you're injured, but you've got uh, you've got eight people to fight off here, brother. Oh, fucking! What is this storyteller? This is insanity. Um, I think we need to get one in there and kill as many as we can and try and force a retreat. Hopefully, that will buy us a little bit of time to let safety wake up. We could do it the opposite way, right? Where we just let one rest, eat, um. Maybe, oh, maybe fight them together. But I'm just thinking because they're waiting a while before they attack, we could pick off a couple before, you know, kind of one by one if we're careful. Let's eat some jelly. Have some, have some tasty jelly. Don't get food poisoning, otherwise I will actually kill you myself. Okay. Okay, shoot who you can. I am so annoyed at you. Well, it's a tantrum. That's better than like a, like a daze or a sad wander. That would have killed him. So a tantrum is, is actually okay. What are you going to smash up? A uranium wall. Right, okay, so he'll be here until he's uh, basically ready to retire. And now they're assaulting the colony. Are we dead? Oh, they're already here. Hello, you were fast. Oh, they've lit fire to uh, everything. Who have they kidnapped? Is it safety? How ironic. <laughs> Come on. What is this? Don't bother. One, leave it. Honestly, just... No, no, no. Fuck off. Leave. Leave, leave, leave. You said you were going to leave. You said you were going to leave. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Thank you. Well, that was um a little harder than I expected. Wow, this storyteller really does not pull punches. I didn't expect to get wiped out so quickly. I expected it to be tough, but I didn't expect it to keep kicking us while we were down. So I guess my question for you guys is then, what's the policy on reloading? Obviously, I couldn't leave it there and say, oh, that's the end of the series. I guess we lost See You All next series. Simultaneously, I feel bad about reloading because the point of it is to kind of overcome these insurmountable odds. But they might be a little too insurmountable, to be honest with you. And that's what you get. Ultimately for letting discord vote on your mod pack. I only really have myself to blame. Oh, and also all of discord. So I don't know the policy on reloading um, But I'll let you why don't we have a conversation about that in the comment section, huh? Why don't we say that it's free reign today while we get settled into the mod pack and then We'll we'll talk about it and I'll bring it up tomorrow how we're gonna deal with you know losses in the future we still have a fucking psychic ship on the map for christ's sake and we're due a raid any second now because this is when the last raid just came up and wiped us out it's tough it's really really tough i think like i said the early game is definitely going to be the hardest part and it's a case of us overcoming this then we should be no oh, they're back again yeah how many people is it yeah i mean we've got six humans to fight and nobody to fight them with I mean, a situation like this is fine. So you're okay. You're downed. Everything's on fire. Well, is it fine? Ah, oh, I don't know. That fire seems to be uh, rushing towards one with mighty speed. Oh, it's okay. Safety's back. See, now this is fine. In situations like this, I don't mind. Obviously, I'm never going to reload something like this because this is this is called Rimworld. Um, but everything else is a little bit bullshit. We don't have a doctor right now. Oh, Booker's dead. To be honest, good. Fuck Booker. I'm going to say it. That hopefully that will stop us being raided because we don't have the three people anymore. I want someone who's capable of fighting. You give me someone who's incapable of violence against Eagle. What do you expect? Actually burying Booker. That's good to see. Okay. So we've lost 
our two new colonists in episode two. <laughs> I should say our two new colonists that we got in episode two. Here we are. Back to, oh my god. You can't doctor, can you? Can you? Tending to one. Oh my god, you can. Oh, that was a bit tasty. Oh, shit. You know, there's quite an obvious rule for reload. We'll say, if one dies, maybe reload. But anything else is fair game. If the base burns down, if all of our colonists die besides one, just, just protect one at all costs. That could work. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. He sent me a plasteel halberd. I spent a thousand silver on a plasteel halberd. I mean, we made a slight profit, but bear in mind you sell weapons at like 33% of the market value. Thank you, blacksmith. Fire that man. Safety's going to go dig up Hardin to remind me of my previous failures. Thank you, Safety. I appreciate that one a lot. Oh! <laughs> oh, give me a fucking break. It's in the head. Now, last time I checked, you can't amputate a head. Well, you can amputate a head. It's just not generally medically sound. Um, have we got thrombo medicine? I.e., can you get up and... We have any... This is... This is chaos. This is, this is doomed. Oh, why did I agree to this? I am robbing my temples right now. Um, wasn't even intentional. It was just something. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking scream. Oh, good. It's a thrombo. It's a thrombo. <laughs> oh, yay. Sexton, he's here. Okay. Okay, okay. Dennis Sexton, hold. Be strong. A mighty fine man. A cowboy. A legend with two revolvers and more importantly, oh, 0 0.84 shooting. Barely heard of it. Barely heard of it. Yeah, me too, pal. Fuck. So now all we've got to do is fight a man hunting thrombo. Right, you watch this. Thrombos are stupid. They're never been quite stupid. Watch this. Ready? Give me the old razzle dazzle. Uh, no, no, no. Don't throw you. No, oh, you've dropped your gun, you fool. Look at me offhand. Okay, watch this. Ready? Oh, thrombo. Genius. Absolutely genius. Oh, shit. This is horrible. Run and gun. Run and gun. He didn't bring any ammo. Oh, you moron. Are you kidding me? My supposed man in black. My savior. My savior turned up with no ammo. Keep moving. Get out of there. And to add insult to injury, the guinea pig's eating his fucking lunch. Nag, you traitor. You absolute traitor. I just... I, can we... Can we do a different... Can we do a different mod pack? <laughs> can we play a different game? Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> very good. I wonder if one will survive his infection that hasn't been tended. Oh, look. No. No, he won't. The expression, uh, there are two things certain in life. Death and taxes. Death and taxes. And uh, we're experiencing, my friends, exactly that right now. Congratulations. Congratulations. We've built the most futile mod pack in Rimworld history. <laughs> wow, this storyteller is hard. This is hard. I might have to redesign the starting scenario so that we have, I don't know, a fucking gun for a start and some armor. Let's vote on it. Comment section, help me here. Help me help you. I want to provide entertainment, and I'm sure as much as you love me destroying my voice and screaming at uh, animated two-dimensional characters, I'm, I'm sure as much as that is entertainment for you guys, I, I like a long-term story where I can also scream at animated characters. So let's see what we can do. Let's go to the drawing board. Let's have a discussion. I'll be in Discord. I'll be in the comment section, and we'll, we'll build something... I swear to God, if the top comment is, leave it how it is, loser, I'm going to fucking... I shouldn't have even said that, because now some moron's going to pull it. Ooh, let's get it, boys. I hate it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying this series. Uh, yeah, that's going... It's going exactly how I thought it would, um, which is to say really, really well. Thank you to the executive coffee producers for taking years off my life, including Demon Boy, Alvin Flang... King Snitch Gaming, Amethyst C, Out of All Context, Spraycand, Juicada, Viazine, Adams, Spleen, 
Slowking1710, Kane, Felpy, The Thick, Mick, Ciala, Moira, Dante, Mordecane, and Kay, along with everyone else, of course, at the Executive Producer Tiers over on Patreon for making this series possible. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Thank you to Warsheep, Coldest Flame, Sturmcrower, Struck Iron, Nyancat17, Caspor, Dune, Lilac, and Aurora, Blue Chaos, Major Mythical, Mr. Awesome, Roger Wilco, and KG Evans as well for their support over at Patreon. See you guys all tomorrow for hopefully a longer playthrough. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs>